Yes, SC family, hope you guys are well. Guys, if you're not taking advantage of this new gift mode up here, right here, look at it, right at the top, then you're putting cash on the table, you know? Etsy is pushing gift mode really, really hard right now. And if you're not taking advantage, guys, you're going to be left behind. So on this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually take advantage of gift mode in your actual specific niche. And this can apply to any niche. Really, I'm going to go through a bit of reverse engineering just so you can actually see how you can take advantage of this because this is huge and it's only going to get bigger. But as usual, if you love Etsy products, you are creating, researching, listing and all of that mad Etsy stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And don't forget share because that's what we do over here. Guys, the other thing I'm going to say is another tip I'm going to give you. Right next to gift mode, usually, you're going to see something here, right? Which they're going to put Etsy. Like it could be Father's Day, Mother's Day, um, Halloween. So there'll be a section here where Etsy will push those listings for those particular times of year, right? And it's very important to also cater for those just when you do your listings. You know, making sure you've got those keywords, getting those listings to do with it. That kind of thing. But I will I will do a video on that in particular. But let's go to gift mode right now. So I just clicked on gift mode. I'm going to do a bit of reverse engineering. Let's say you are... A, now, you got to imagine what kind of store you are. What do you sell, right? And this is what I want you to do. So let's just say <clears throat> I have a, um, a a store that sells pet products, right? Or pet, pet designs or pet digital products. Just let's say it's a pet related. So if I wanted to start gearing up for gift mode and try to get listings that are more that the Etsy algorithm will favor for gift mode, then this is what I'll do. I'll do a bit of research first. So first thing is I'll say, okay, I want to get who, who am I shopping for? Let's say I want to get somebody a gift as a, as a pet product, right? Because that's what my store is. So something for a wife, right? Next question. Go through this process basically um, and then get a product for a wife. Get it as a uh, birthday, yeah, birthday, let's say. So I'm just going to go down the whole process, guys. And then, okay, so it actually tells you, look, what are they into? Their pets, yep. So I'm going to click on their pets, okay? Clicked on their pets. Let me go down. Show me the gifts, my. Show me the gifts. Now, what it's going to do is it's literally going to show me products related to gifts. Then what you do is you go down and see what do you actually sell. So let's say I sell um, more digital product, um, pet products, right? So I'm obviously want to gear towards those kind of things, right? Um, so let's just have a quick oh, look at <laughs> those pet portraits, mate. <laughs> yeah. What it will do is as well, guys, what you got to understand is when you go into uh, the niche that gift mode takes you through that hopefully relates to what you sell, go and have a look and see what which ones they've picked, like which listings they've actually picked to showcase. Uh, you know, it gives you ideas. So let me just click on this one, right? As I said, let's say a pet store and... Uh, and I will look at a product that they've showcased. So here's a product that they've showcased, which is a blanket, a pet blanket. Now, why did they take this actual particular product? Um, how much is this making? Let's just have a look at this one. Now, also, what I like to do is I like to analyze this, the title. So they've taken this for some reasons because what they're doing is they are pushing these personalized items. So when you actually, with your listings that you're creating, please, please, please make sure that you're creating more custom and more personalized products within what you sell because that gives the Etsy algorithm a more opportunity to want to push yours out there and maybe showcase it in those pages. Now, what's interesting is, now what's interesting, they are not necessarily showcasing ones that are making a lot of money, by the way. They're showcasing different products that they think the, the buyer would want, but it's not necessarily, not necessarily they have to sell really well. I've seen them showcase bestsellers, but at the same time, I've seen them showcase ones that are not selling so greatly. And this is, I believe this is a prime example of one. Um, so let me just analyze it very quickly. Let me just analyze it quickly. And you can see, look, estimated revenue, zero, right? Estimated revenue, zero. So it doesn't have to be best selling or really big selling ones. But what they're doing is, it's, pro it's more to do with the SEO and it's more to do with the personalization. So Anything that's custom or personalized has a good chance of getting out there and getting, uh, and getting showcased, right? Let me just go back for a second. I'll show you something else, right? Let me just go down. I'll click on this one, this other pet product. So again, look and see, click on the ones in your niche that they're showcasing and just see the kind of ideas that they've, they've put forward. Like I said, in this one, again, you got the word custom, right? You got the word custom. So it doesn't necessarily have to be custom and personalized that they do showcase. However, it is the kind of words that they are using. Um, gift is another word that is used. So here. So again, look, gift is called gift mode, right? So if it's gift mode, they are looking to promote gifts, 
Simple as that. So in some way, try to think about your listing that is geared and make it more obvious that it's a gift. You might think that you've, your listings are actually geared, a lot of them are geared for gifts, but make it more apparent. Use the words like gift in your, in your title, in your listing tags, in your product description, right? Have it somewhere in, even in your um, listing images. Put something like, this is a perfect gift. You know, things like that. Get the Etsy algorithm to recognize your listing to hopefully give it a better chance to push it up, you know? Okay, so this is the way to actually identify what you need to do for your listings. So my, my advice is, if you want to take advantage of the gift mode, right? If you want to take advantage is study and see what ones are being pushed and promoted, right? Because this gives you that extra sort of opportunity to sell. Because not only are you selling, if you like, normally, let's say, but you get the opportunity to sell through gift mode. Now, there's also other opportunities to sell, which will be when things like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Halloween, and stuff like that come up, because there's a other way that the Etsy algorithm will start pushing. Um, but go through the process of searching as if you are a buyer, as if you're buying for somebody, um, but searching for your niche that you actually sell your product and have a look at similar ones that the Etsy algorithm is favoring at this point. So let me just go to another one. Go to a friend. Shopping for a friend. And let's say this one is going to be for, uh, look, they've even got them like for Valentine's, Mother's Day, Father's Day. They've got these particular um, things. Um, and also like, uh, let's say they like, um, what's the occasion? Oh, like a thank you. Okay. So a thank you. And, uh, and what? They like the outdoors. What are they into the outdoors? Then you go down to show the gifts. So hopefully it's going to be like a sort of outdoorsy product, hiking, that kind of thing. You can see. It's exactly what they've given us. And they always like to do a combination of physical products uh, and they'll have some digital products in there somewhere. If, as long as you keep going, probably sometimes you need to go down further where you've got other, other things. Nice little mug design there, little pod, right? Really nice. And it's Etsy's pick. So in this case, you can see this is a sort of outdoor related mug that they've just pushed up into the kind of gift mode arena into those pages so that they can get found quickly. So, you know, this is another way basically of being found. So you want to take every single opportunity for you to actually get your listing to be found. Anything that you can do. Um, like I said, look at your title. What words can you add to it? That is, you know, that is going to obviously help it, elevate it. Uh, and yeah, when you do future listings, just literally bear that in mind. Have in mind that you're catering not only for those people searching like on the search bar, but also what kind of things would people look for through the gift mode. So you really got to have the gift mode, the process of how people search with the gift mode just within you, like in your mind, so that you understand what people are looking for. And the other thing is, you can also see maybe what different um, areas to get into. Because look, these are um, popular. And it also tells you, it also gives you some ideas. So these are popular gift ideas. These are actually, they've, they've shown you now, without even going into the process of, of shopping for somebody, it's also showing you popular gift themes ideas, right? So, for example, people look for bird watching um, products. People are watch looking for bridesmaids, newlyweds. Um, and these are actually um, popular ones right now on Etsy. So, you know, it actually gives you ideas where you could maybe design something within a particular niche. So if I go to the cowgirl, for example, if I click on that, you've got cowgirl wall art. Straight away, it's giving me cowgirl wall art, right? Which is very interesting. So. You know, this is something maybe that you could get into possibly. So if I click on one of these, let's have a look at this. Again, it might be something to look at. And then what I would do is if they are pushing something, I would tend to go to keyword research. So I'll go to ever be my go to nugget finder. I'll kick keyword, click keyword research. And then I might type in cowgirl because I'll be like, OK, why is Etsy pushing this? Why is Etsy pushing these products? So I'll type in cowgirl, right? And I'll click enter. And then I would like to see how that keyword maybe scores. So I might say cowgirl wall art. So what I'll do, I'll type in cowgirl, right? And then what I'll do is I'll filter down and try to find um, cowgirl related keywords or connected to cowgirl keywords that are good ones to get into, right? And actually what's really, really interesting as you look down, you can see that there's actually some really interesting keyword scores here. You know, look, cowgirl's bride, cowgirl's decoration, cowgirl's disco party, right? Gift for cowgirls. Gifts, gift for cowgirls is massive. So actually, Etsy 
is helping you find really good niches. Look at this, cowgirl coloring, cowgirl batch party. So what is really a good way of doing this is that looking at what Etsy is saying is popular and then go into something like Everbee, look into the uh, keywords and then actually look at things related to that particular um, keyword, right? And then funny th thing is, look, I'm finding some amazing nuggets. Look, cowgirl blue wall art. So cowgirl maybe in a blue sort of style wall art. That has a fantastic, fantastic keyword score. It's got a volume of 497 people on the search bar actually searching it with a competition of 4,173 and a massive score of 120. Disco cowgirl space is also a good one. So what is amazing is really, Etsy is helping you find nuggets. <laughs> if you look into, look at this, this is mad. Look at this. I mean, just look at this yourself. Printable cowgirl wall art, massive keywords. Nashville cowgirl hat, interesting. Cowgirl bachelor, bachelor. Bachelor, bachelorette party decorate can't even say it cowgirl png wow so look the cowgirl niche is definitely good to get into and you know what that was purely by etsy telling me look preppy coastal cowgirl wall art so the preppy style is another one that could work very well cowgirl disco cowgirl decorations look at these key these keyword scores are absolutely massive so there's definitely a good thing to get into and many many sub niches within the cowgirl to get into so yeah Look at gift mode and get Etsy to help you find those nuggets because it can. It really can. And this is how you actually, you know, gear up for gift mode. These are the kind of hopefully these ideas you can do. So there's two things you can do. Literally, it helps you actually shows you how you can gear up for gift mode by showing you examples of lift listings that it's kind of favored and pushed there. So you can see what you can do for your listings. And also you can actually find nuggets through gift mode as i've done through keyword research i hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like subscribe flash that notification bell and i'll see you on the next one